Hi, and welcome to another episode in the uh, Arcsite Logger 6.0 uh, use case uh, demonstration scenarios. Uh, so, again, I'm going to jump into another scenario where we're going to look at uh, how we can use and process raw log event data and how we can use the automatic processing uh, using regex to display and then uh, display what's actually going on with uh, with some specific uh, event data uh, and it's a little bit more advanced uh, some capability that we're going to add in there as well but so I'll, I'll actually dig into and just jump straight into uh, the scenario that we have. Uh, what I do know in my demonstration scenario uh, system here is I do have some log data that uh, uh, is actually relevant uh, to what we're looking for. So uh, in this example, <coughs> I'm going to look in for uh, not CEF, so not common event format log data, so raw, uh, and I'm looking for a login failed attempt. Now, the important thing here is is that although it is raw, it's still everything is indexed. The full data is indexed, and it's still uh, there as as information. So we can actually see there. There's some information there, and there's there's a whole lot of data there. It's actually pretty clever from that point of view uh, and, and incredibly powerful as part of that process as well. So uh, that's really clever and we can we can see the information. Uh, but wouldn't it actually be really clever to be able to start to, to look at some of this data and understanding a little bit more around uh, what's actually happening as well. So uh, again, we can just double, you know, just click on the uh, expand the fields and, and actually process some of this data to start with. So uh, actually, it's, it's actually pretty clever how we can see some of the information around usernames and so on. So we can see uh, login failed attempt and there's this maestro one and uh, we can just click on that. Uh, we can actually just fill in that uh, information there and just do username. So we process in that data, uh, click OK uh, and therefore we have a, a search based on the username it then becomes very simple for me to then just to, to put that into a, a uh, top uh, based on username. I do a chart on that and then suddenly I have a, a very quick and simple chart based on uh, the information that's displayed there. And it's incredibly powerful and flexible to be able to extract that field information uh, and just process it just by clicking a button uh, and we can see what's what's going on. Now uh, there are actually some other uh, log messages that I'm actually very interested in looking at uh, so we're going to go look at uh, SHA-1 hex uh, event here so we've got a whole bundle of them spread across a, a particular time interval here. Uh, let me just expand that a little bit to the last hour so we get a little bit more information in there. Uh, and again, this is all uh, raw log data. We can actually uh, see the information here. It's such a, a whole bundle of data. It doesn't really make a huge amount of sense uh, with regards to that. But actually what we do have is, is some, some information that we can actually process pretty quickly and easily. Now, I, I do know uh, what, what the data is here. So actually I'm just going to load up uh, a particular save filter that we have here uh, because actually I know that some of this data is, is going to be uh, what we call credit card uh, data in there. So let me just uh, click run on that for a second, uh, get the raw data in there. Uh, we're also not only just processing the data, we're actually looking at the fields here and it's it's summarizing the fields for us. It's telling us how many are occurring, what the different uh, number of frequencies are as well. Uh, but let me just shuffle that out of the range so we can see a little bit more what's going on. Um, as we can see here, we're, we're actually processing that data. So we're extracting the information to do with what is a credit card number. Uh, we can actually even create new fields uh, and actually have the data masked accordingly. So we've actually broken it out here to show uh, because we're actually extracting the information here. We're doing some additional calculations and some processing here and actually appending the information. So we can see here that the that the starting number uh, of a credit card normally indicates the type of credit card. So a three is a, a travel and entertainment card, typically American Express Diners card, a four is a Visa, a five is a MasterCard, a six is a Discover and so on. So there's different ways of, of indicating that. So if we wanted to have a, a, a report or something, we probably want to obfuscate and hide some of that information. So we're just showing that we can actually process that, we can extract the first number, we can fill in the rest of the data uh, with, uh, with X's to just uh, hide all that relevant data and, and numbers. So you can see there's a process involved. So it then becomes a very simple process for me to just to, to, to put that information into uh, first num uh, and just do a very simple 
chart top 10 charts of the first number that's been used so it's doing the search uh, we can see that now so we can see that there is a a nice little spread over the last hour uh, that most of the credit cards that are going through our system have a first number of a four which indicates that a particular type uh, which in this case it indicates that it's a visa type message uh, a visa type credit card in fact it's yeah, it's often a little bit easier let's just put that into a pie chart apply that uh, close that we can see the spread quite nicely and of course we could even just right mouse click and save that save that image or if we actually wanted to we could even export the data accordingly and the important thing there is that we're not actually displaying the credit card details we're just displaying the number that we've processed automatically which in this case is on raw log data as we're doing it on the fly uh, and as we're doing that processing uh, uh, as part of this demonstration so uh, just another quick example and demo scenario uh, of what we can achieve uh, with processing with uh, HP Logger ArcSight version 6. Thank you very much for your time.